What's up, pretty gang? It's your favorite nail tech, Peaches, back with another video. And today, I'm gonna talk to you guys about some of those options I've been telling you about quality but inexpensively priced bling a lot of people still stress over where do i get bling how do i do it blah 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 and you know what when i first started doing nails it wasn't a lot of info out there but now there is so i'm going to help you navigate what's out there and how to save your money first things first make sure you check the description for all of my coupon codes my amazon storefront which i do have some inexpensive bling options there be sure to follow me on social media subscribe notifications on so first things first we're headed to marshall's so this is what i've been telling you guys about preciosas and things that are not swarovski but have like similar um you know quality now this one is by bead landing and they are the crystal radiance collection these as you saw they were on sale for 4.99 a pack they usually come between 70 to 160 pieces depending on the size now you see here it's you know 13 facets 16 facet 9 facets that's what i be telling you guys when i say that's how many like cuts the light can pass through and what gives you the quality. I personally spent $32 on these particular packs and um, I tend to go more for the 13 facets um, there. So next is Hobby Lobby. I'm showing you guys this because I don't know where Hobby Lobby is located for you guys. I'm in California. It is basically like a Michael's store, arts and crafts, almost identical. However, now look at this, look at the little dog. Child, I was like, who the hell's dog is just wandering, eating shit? But this is what I be talking about really, the Preciosas. Now these are a little bit more expensive and honestly, this, I caught the store fully stocked, okay? They have Preciosa, they also have the bead landing, you know, the crystal radiance or whatever. Now the thing is, the Preciosas, they're almost always 16 plus facets, which means that's gonna give you a really, really, really high quality look. That's what I suggest, okay? As you can already see through the packaging, this is way more quality looking than the bead radiance. Now, if you are on a budget, I do suggest these because this is still the little, you know, bead treasures ones and it is 16 plus facets technically, but you can see 16 facets in this brand looks really, really different than the Preciosas. As you can see, I'm holding them side by side, but there's, there's no need to, you know, spend a lot of money. And then I was mad because right when it was my turn, she's going to close the register. But I spent $29 for these packs. They ended up being 50% off, okay? So let's get into it. This is my bling box. You would not know that the majority of these, honestly, I don't even know if I really have any Swarovskis left at this point. Some of these shapes definitely are the ones that are used the least and probably some of those reds. But the point is, you don't need to spend a lot of money to get that type of look, you guys. If you're stressing about bling and, oh, it's so expensive, it's literally not. This is why I say you need to invest in your own research, okay? And stop just trying to go along with what everyone's saying online. So this is the bead landing, the crystal radiance ones. So these have 13 facets. You know, you can see through the packaging they're shiny but then look at the preciosas these are the most similar to swarovskis that i've stumbled upon in my personal opinion so you can see with the bead radiance we've got the 13 facets and the 16 facets and then the preciosas so even the preciosas are higher quality than the bead landings higher you know facets or whatever so now i'm going to show you guys right i'm going to open up these packages and i'm going to show you out of the package what these look like now bling to stay away from i would stay away from anything that looks too costumey when it comes to like big bling and charms it's okay if they don't bling as much as this but you still need to watch out for what does the quality look like and how long it's gonna last now i would say these type of stores hobby lobby and, and michaels they do tend to sell out of their bling pretty quickly especially michaels but there's a lot of people that don't realize hobby lobby definitely has a replacement for the Swarovskis. Like I said, do not get stuck in needing Swarovskis and needing to buy from like Blue Street Crystals and stuff because you're gonna spend a lot of money for not for no reason, okay? So be careful with how you open these. That's what I was trying to do because I did not want all of them to pop out. And then I realized, okay, I'm gonna turn it over and I'm gonna, you know, have this side because it's like more dip so they wouldn't fall out. But just stay away from stuff that look like straight up plastic. If they get damaged with acetone, do not use those. Um, so here I'm just taking out one of each. One is gonna be the bead landing and one is going to be the Preciosa. And I'm gonna show you, although the Preciosas look way better, when they're next to each other and stuff, no one's gonna be able to tell. So honestly, I just got 124 piece of 13 facet, you know, 13 cut, um, uh, I don't want to say diamonds, crystals for $5 of that pack. If I were buying Swarovskis, 
um online depending on where you buy i kind of had a place that was like a plug you know so it was i guess similar 100 piece for five dollars but this is a mix of six eight and ten ss six eight and ten which are very popular sizes so you can see side by side here is the preciosa uh this one i'm touching right here and the other is the bead landing when it comes to this is a b um and you can see yes the preciosa looks somewhat a little bit better but when they're all mixed up and you're doing things with bling it doesn't make a difference but i wanted to show you guys this because people stress about bling and i wanted to show you guys you can see even the colored ones honestly i was gonna say hey which do you think is which brand to be honest i can't even remember i think the light pink is the preciosas but i threw away the packaging and i was talking to a client and blah 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 but i wanted you guys to know do not stress over bling because once again when i show it to you like this there's no way you're gonna tell which bling that i buy is from what brand you see what i'm saying so hopefully this helps you guys to continue to find inexpensive but quality options y'all already know i'm cheap as hell but all of my stuff is quality regardless when you look at my stuff you look expensive it looks rich don't it so i hope you guys enjoyed this video hope it was helpful sorry it's so short but i gotta go to work and as always i'll see you guys in the next one